Albert Einstein, one of the founders of the Hebrew University, would have been 133 years old on March 14, 2012. In honor of his birthday, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem is today inaugurating the Albert Einstein Digital Archive. The launch of the website will be marked simultaneously at Princeton University, Caltech, and by Israeli embassies and the Hebrew University's friends associations around the world. You want to open the best that you can to everybody who's interested. Knowledge is not about hiding. It's about openness. And the message of the university was all through when it got the Einstein archives, it was of sharing with it with the best of techniques of the period. The new website will, for the first time, make all archived Einstein documents available to the general public. This day is very unique because it's a certain a culmination point of a very long effort which started in 2003 where we launched for the first time Einstein on the web but at that time it was done with a very limited compared to what we can do today a technological a tools, it was done in poorer resolution. The scope of the documents that we published then was much, much smaller than we have today. The Albert Einstein Digital Archive contains a complete catalog of more than 80,000 records of all the documents currently held by the Hebrew University. These include over 40,000 documents contained in the personal papers of Albert Einstein and over 30,000 additional documents discovered since the 1980s. Amongst these are letters and papers that have till now not received public exposure. These include a speech Einstein made to the Zionist Congress in which he discusses his fundraising tour in the United States on behalf of the Hebrew University, a postcard written to his sick mother, a letter from his former lover, Betty Newman, 15 years after their affair, and the invitation to his wedding to his first wife. Albert Einstein's personal legacy was diverse and multifaceted, and the vista opened onto it through the digital archive throws additional light onto one of the most intriguing personalities of the 20th century. The Albert Einstein Digitization Project is being funded by the Polonsky Foundation in the United Kingdom. Dr. Leonard Polonsky has advanced similar projects around the world, including the digitization of the writings of Sir Isaac Newton at the University of Cambridge. I have been involved in digitization for some time uh, before I got involved with the Einstein Project, uh, both at Oxford University and Cambridge University, and I'm effectively trying to affect a global digitization of precious material. What we, you are witnessing today is a real drama, but what we are launching today is something of much broader scope, something which is packaged in the most sophisticated technological tools available of cross-linking, of cross-referencing, and when you try to, to make your odyssey, to make your intellectual odyssey between 80,000 documents, this is the contents, Albert Einstein bequeathed all of his writings and intellectual heritage to the Hebrew University, including the rights to the use of his image. Einstein's birthday is celebrated throughout Israel as National Science Day.